But when we point at Muslim countries or Muslim majority countries and say, you know, these are Muslim countries, they're run by Sharia, you know, that kind of language. Well, you know, since the time of Napoleon or British colonialism, the French and the British and other countries, you know, as, as, as you say, uh, Islamic law has been largely replaced by European law, Napoleonic law, British law, like in India and so on. There may be elements of Sharia left, like... Uh, 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 but maybe inheritance law, divorce law, things like that. But the 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 paradigm, the the place of Sharia in those societies has been completely changed, eviscerated, uh, as you say. So it's not good enough to point to a particular Muslim country and say, "Aha, there's Sharia law." Uh, we've got to take, as you say, take into account the realities, the historical realities of colonialism and, and what the European powers did to those countries, which are which are still present within those countries today. That they didn't disappear. Uh, after formal political independence, the political and polit uh, legal systems continue to endure, I think, since then. Mm -hmm. anyway, yes, and so, yeah. no, that's, that's the crucial distinction. And so the colonial era, it basically turned or redefined the Sharia um, from a paradigm, which is what it was before, an all-encompassing paradigm with authority and autonomy and sovereignty, uh, and it turned it into a source of law which is something a, a, so, a source of law i like that right along um, with napoleonic law and british law and whatever law right is. but yeah. even if even if for the sake of argument even if we had a nation state that every single law it had was sourced in the sharia it's very very different to say that a particular law or a body of laws is sourced in the sharia versus is sharia the entire paradigm and definition of law in and of itself. That's a very, very different thing. And mm -hmm. we'll get to kind of, I mean, if, if you really want to click a quick litmus test, and sometimes people pop in the comments, they say, well, what about this government? And what about that government? Yeah. And the litmus test is actually very easy. If the Sharia can disband the government, then the Sharia <laughs> has ultimate authority. Wow. And if the government can disband Sharia, then the state has complete authority or ultimate authority. And there's not a place on the face of the earth right now where the Sharia has the, the power to, or, or the representatives, right. because the Sharia is not uh, an individual, right? The representatives of the Sharia, the ulama, uh, can disband a government. 